Hi everyone, good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris of Energy, my name is Kelsey, and I'm ready to do a reading for the sign of Gemini. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. This will be for anyone with the sign of Gemini in the birth chart from Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and also cross watchers are always welcome. So I'm going to jump straight in. I've already meditated on your energy, pre shuffled your clouds very well, had a word with spirit, so we're ready to go. I am just going to say, very quickly, those of you that are holding on to something, stop doing that because I feel like there's a possible missed opportunity on the horizon if you're not careful. Let's get Gemini's immediate future, please, Spirit. So in this reading... I will also be getting a question answered by spirit for you, Gemini. So there'll come a time in the reading where I'll ask you to focus and meditate on a question that you have. And I'll answer it with a brand new divination board. It's beautiful. Um, we'll get a yes, no, maybe or unknown answer. Which I do believe will help. So I hope they help you today. And also, just to quickly let you know, it'd be impossible to connect with every single Gemini in the world. So if these messages aren't for you, do not force them to fit. Wait for the next one. And of course, if you do find answers and messages are for you in this reading, please do like the video, comment. Please do subscribe to the channel. I am going to be doing lesser readings for the signs with the least views. I am going to do, you know, more regular readings for the other signs that I've got the higher views. So please do, if you do want more regular readings, please do encourage this reading to get into the YouTube algorithms. So that's all the boring stuff. Um, so let's jump into your reading. So let's get immediate future for Gemini, please, for Moon, Rising, and Venus. So this is going to be either your energy that I'm connecting with or someone that you're connected to energetically. I flip the rolls as you see fit. Messages for Gemini's immediate future, please, for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. Okay. We've got the Five of Cups. This is sadness, regret, sorrow. Could be grieving. Wow. Okay, so we are sad. We are still grieving over something that's come to an end. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. But this endings also bring on transformations, rebirths, you know, something new comes from an ending. And what is coming is the King of Pentacles, someone very stable. And the Two of Pentacles, okay. This is weighing things up. For those at, at work that are, you know, you're taking, possibly taking a little bit too much on at work as well, whilst you are feeling a little bit sad. Gemini's immediate future, please. One more. Gemini's immediate future, spirit. Some of you might have us. Thank you. One more. One more, can I speak, please? Oh, Wheel of Fortune. Love that. Oh, Six of Wands. Okay. So, I'm just going to quickly say, whatever is going on, whatever has gone on, don't worry, because you cannot fail. Whatever it is that's happened, or whatever it is that is going to happen, you can't, you're not going to fail. The Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Wands, that is divinely guided. It's destined success. It's fated success and victory. So that is beautiful energy. But there is a sadness and regret over something that's come to an end already. Gemini, with this death card. As I say, you could be dealing with the Scorpio. And then we've got the King of Pentacles. This could be your energy, but I'm not too sure. I don't feel like it is, but it could be. This is someone, this could be a job. Someone's job could have come to an end, you know. 
but if that's the case it happened for a reason don't be don't dwell on it too much what you know but this is also you could be meeting someone because like i say death is an ending of something but it brings on transformation you know it's something it was most definitely destined because with the death and the D wheel of fortune it's like you can't hide from it you can't hide from death it takes what it takes when it's time to be taken so whatever it is that did come to an end it was time it was time but we're still juggling something whether this is the idea of something whether this is juggling too much as i say but whatever it, whatever this is whatever we're doing we'll clarify now we'll find out more about this this destined success and i love that Hmm, let's clarify, let's find out some more. Yeah, if this is, if this could have been a job that someone was very passionate about, that's come to an end, it could have been out of your control. Um, you're possibly still in the, if that's the case, and you're still in the energy of wondering why it happened, trying to weigh things up, trying to understand. Don't waste too much time doing that, because it was just meant to. The divine stepped in. And if this is to do with a person, a relationship of something with an, another energy, again, the divine stepped in. And I feel like if that's, there's still a lot of passion and attraction still involved in whatever it is that's um, caused your pain, but the divine stepped in. Let's clarify these cards, please. Yeah, I feel like you possibly had to had to walk away from something that you really didn't want to, but you had to. Tell me about this five of cups energy, please. It was something that you were very committed to. But someone left it, whether it was you or someone else, someone left it. But they had to, whatever that means. Tell me about this five of cups, please. Gemini's immediate future. Tell me about this five of cups, please. Yeah. Okay. Wow. There's some of the pentacles, what has come out? Okay, so we've got the king of cups and the empress. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, but there's there's so much love still involved here with there's so much emotion still still involved this could be your parent the parent of your child there's still a hell of a lot of love and that's that's why you are still possibly in a grieving process we one more for this five cups please but i do feel like this could be you could somebody could already be juggling Two different energies. Okay, the Knight of Swords. So someone could have found something out, which like I said, someone had to leave. And that's possibly someone found something out that they possibly didn't want to. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But someone had to search for peace, is what I want to say. Search for peace and clarity. And that was by leaving something. Something, something. Someone had to create an ending or someone caused an ending or both. Tell me about this death card, please. But I feel like someone found something out. Possibly could be the mother specifically for some. The mother of someone's child, the mother figure for somebody could have found something out. Um... Doesn't have to be. That could just be for one person. Tell me about this death card, please. Wow, Ace of Pentacles, yeah. So there's also a transformation, like I say, and this is a, a blessing, the Ace of Pentacles. This could be a new job, most definitely, um, for some. But this is a brand new stable beginning. 
Tell me more, please. Okay, the Page of Cups. This could definitely be someone new. And the Four of Swords. Okay, so this, someone's healing. I feel like you specifically, Gemini, you're still healing over something. It could have something to do with children. Maybe you had to start again and that was hard because you've got children with with whoever that was, most definitely. Um, but you're still in the healing process. But I feel like now's the time to wake up, Gemini, is what I'm getting. There's also someone possibly coming towards you with a gentle message, is what I want to say. And if you're too busy lay down, you're not going to see this. Yeah, someone's coming in. Someone's going to be approaching you with some kind of gentle gesture, emotional gesture as such. Could just be as if, you know, asking you out or just asking how you are, but in a very, in a caring way, in a nice way, in a loving way. And I feel like you could be daydreaming. You could be too busy daydreaming about what's happened. Tell me about this King of Pentacles, please. Gemini's immediate future. Tell me about this King of Pentacles energy, thank you. Oh, wowzers. Right, okay. We've got another king. Right. You need to view somebody from a different perspective, Gemini. You need to see some somebody for what they are. Accept. You need to accept it. Whatever's happened, you need to accept it for what it is. Tell me more for this King of Pentacles, please. Okay, the Ace of Swords. Wow, God. The Six of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, this could, okay, you know, like I said before, you could have to juggle something. It could be juggling of two different people. I feel like you are possibly going to have to do that. I feel like maybe once you come out of this healing energy, I feel like there is something new there waiting for you, whether you already know that or not. And then as soon as you may accept this and open yourself up to this, I feel like there's going to be some form of, on his communication coming from somebody else that you're already very passionate towards. Um, and then we've got the Page of Pentacles. It's the Ace of Swords, but the Page with the Page of Pentacles. It's like and the Six of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like someone you've got possibly two people that want to move forward with you because you you're possibly looking very very attractive right now gemini one could be older than the other but i do feel like you're gonna have a choice to make maybe doesn't necessarily have to be because this could just be one person embodying all of these kings but We have got juggle in here. The Emperor is there. I don't know, let's clarify this two of pentacles, please. Tell me about this. Oh, this could be so many different people that you're just blocking off left, right and centre because you're too busy focused on something else or somebody else. Tell me about this two of pentacles, please. Gemini's immediate future. 
this is juggling weighing something up balancing well it's imbalance oops well i'll just say imbalance six of pentacles imbalance there's an imbalance Have you caused this? Someone's tell me more, please. The Five of Cups again, right? Okay, so someone regrets the imbalance. So you are there's possibly someone from the past that's gonna you're gonna have someone new and someone from the past is what I'm feeling. And that's what you're gonna have to juggle. You're going to have to make a decision while the two of ones, there's a path that you're going to have to choose. But, but like I said at the beginning, I feel like there's no failing for you specifically. You're destined to win. But there is a path that you're going to have to choose with the two of ones. But someone regrets breadcrumbing. Someone regrets the imbalance. As I say, this could be just one person this is only a general reading but there's something that you have to be strong with to do with the past person tell me about this wheel of fortune please but the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor with the six of wands that's forward motion forward movement into victory and success this is winning could be public there being applauded as you go Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune, please. Okay, the Five of Pentacles. Oops. If anyone's been feeling a lack of finances or money or something like that, that's going to change. Yeah, definitely. You're walking in, you, you, you gain in abundance. You are, you, that cycle is turning for anyone struggling with money the queen of pentacles we have got a divine match king and queen of pentacles the nine of wands okay this can also be for some um whoever you have left out in the cold before now someone wants a new cycle someone wants their divine counterpart back and they are they are going to fight for it with the nine of wands they're not willing to put down that ninth wand just yet they want to keep fighting. They want to fight for something. Strength and the Six of Cups again. Could be dealing with a Leo. Tell me about the Six of Wands. But this is, like I say, this is winning. So you're winning, Gemini, whatever this is. Tell me about the Six of Wands, please, in Gemini's immediate future. Thank you. Okay, so there's mutual love. Oh, the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Cups. Oh, okay. One more. Interesting. Seven of Swords, the Queen of Cups and the Two of Swords. So I feel like you're possibly being advised for some. If there is someone deceptive, untrustworthy, someone that's not to be trusted through lying, cheating or stealing. Possibly from a, a mother figure specifically. If this could even be a child, to be honest. I feel like you are being told to continue forward without them. Whoever that may be. This is possibly someone that should be blocked off with the two of swords but if not that doesn't have to be the case for everybody but there's a crossroads possibly that you're going to come to but we already we already know this with the two of wands there is a choice that you're going to have to make there's a choice that you're going to have to make some some may choose to build on the person from the past but maybe they still aren't necessarily to be trusted is what i'm getting so just bear that in mind because we have still got the Seven of Swords here. Well, there's a lot of love involved, so we understand that. But 
but just be mindful. But there is a two of swords, there's a crossroads that you're about to approach. Decision time, Gemini. Possibly between two people. If not, it's between possibly transforming something with one person that can't be trusted because they can embody any one of these kings. Again, there's no gender. So take it as it resonates. But they can, you know, they can be fake. They can put on a front. If this isn't more than one energy. And if that's the case, they're not to be trusted necessarily. Win without them is what I want to say. You'll win without them. Don't be concerned. If that's a concern, don't, because you'll win without them. Or without whatever it is. So that's what I've got for you as far as the time I was concerned, Gemini. I hope that's resonated with somebody. I hope someone needed to hear that. Mm. Okay, so we'll move into your question. So it doesn't have to relate to the tarot. You can ask anything you like, anything whatsoever. Um, I just ask you to focus on the question that you have. Meditate on the question. Close your eyes if you can. If you can speak the question out loud, please do so. I do believe it makes it stronger to the universe and to spirit. So let's answer Gemini's question as accurately as, accurately as possible, spirit, please. Let's be as precise as we possibly can be. Let's keep meditating on the question, Gemini. Ask it one more time. Let's give a precise and accurate answer, spirit, please. Okay, I'm getting the answer, yes. We have a definitive yes for whatever it is that he was asking, Gemini, okay? So they're the messages that I have for you. Please do like the video if these messages were for you, if these resonated. Please subscribe to the channel, most definitely. Let's help build it so I can do live videos going forward and then I don't have to miss anybody out. So, um... Thank you so much for coming back to the channel and I hope to see you again soon.